This screencast covers Module 5, Lesson 12. We're going to work mostly with the problem set, but we'll give you some help with some homework as well. We're going to be doing the same thing we've done in the previous lessons. We're going to multiply a fraction, uh, mixed numbers times mixed numbers. Uh, this time we uh, add some measurement into the mix with uh, inches and fractions of inches. I can't show you that on the iPad. That's a hands-on sort of thing, but we'll run through what we can with this lesson. So here we have a square this time, and if we took out our ruler, and I want to give you a, a hint with the rulers, uh, these are to the nearest quarter inch, having looked through the homework. Now, if your copy machine, uh, your teacher's copy machine or, or whatever, was not set exactly right, you may be a little bit off, but you should be okay as long as you go to the nearest quarter inch. So, uh, having measured this, this is one and three quarters inches by one and three-fourths inches, and we want to find the area. We'll decompose one and three-fourths in partition vertically. Do the same on the side going horizontally. So what do we do? We find our partial products. Uh, one times one is one. One times three-fourths is three-fourths. One times three-fourths is three-fourths. And 3 fourths times 3 fourths is 9 sixteenths. We'll find the sum. So we have 1 plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 9 sixteenths. Now we have 1 plus 6 fourths. Remember, we can add the ones with like denominators, but not uh, the ones with unlike. Uh, 6 fourths is the same as 1 and 2 fourths. So we now have 2 plus 2 fourths plus 9 sixteenths. Now we can convert 2 fourths to sixteenths easily by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So 1 half, or excuse me, 2 fourths becomes 8 sixteenths, and that's plus 9 sixteenths. And now we have 2 plus 17 sixteenths and that becomes 3 and 1 16th. And of course the inches squared is our unit. Let's do one more example. Again, you're going to have to take my word about the measurement. Again, measure to the nearest quarter inch. And this one measures along the top 2 and 1 fourth inches. And the side is 3 and 1 fourth inches. So again, we'll take this, decompose. We have the whole number portion plus the fractional part. And we will now draw a line, partitioning that. And along the side, we have 3 and 1 fourth, and partition that. Now we'll multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 fourth is 3 fourths. 2 times 1 fourth is 2 fourths. And 1 fourth times 1 fourth is 1 sixteenth. So now we'll find the sum of our partials. 6 plus 3 fourths plus 2 fourths plus 1 sixteenth. That's 6 plus 5 fourths plus 1 sixteenth. That becomes 7 because I can decompose my uh, or change my 5 fourths into a mixed number, which is 1 and 1 fourth. We have 1 fourth left over plus 1 sixteenth. All right, again, it's very simple to convert fourths to sixteenths. We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4, and we get 1 fourth is equal to 4 sixteenths. So we have 7 plus 4 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth equals 7 and 5 sixteenths, and again the unit is inches squared. Now we'll do some uh, problems without measurement, and again practicing multiplying our mixed numbers times our mixed numbers. So here we have one yard by one yard, one and a half yards by one and a half yards rather. So I'm going to draw my model, and we're going to label one plus one half and one plus one half. 
1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 half is 1 half, 1 half times 1 is 1 half, and 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. Find the sum. I have 1 plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 fourth equals 2 and 1 fourth. One more example. This time we have yards. I should have uh, labeled the units on the previous one, but so be it. Um, we now have 2 and 1 half yards by 1 and 3 sixteenths. Let's make our model. I have 1 and 3 sixteenths. Partition it. I have 2 and 1 half. Partition horizontally. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 sixteenths is 6 sixteenths. 1 times 1 half is 1 half. And 1 half times 3 sixteenths is 3 thirty seconds. Now we'll find the sum. And this time you'll notice that all our denominators are unlike. So I have 2 plus 6 sixteenths plus 1 half plus 3 30 seconds. Okay, well, we could do this a number of ways. We could change these all to 30 seconds right off the bat. and uh, Or we can just do it as we go. I'm going to change them all to 30 seconds. It's easy to do because 16 times 2 is 32. So 6, six sixteenths becomes 12 30 seconds. 1 half times, or 2 times 16 equals 32, so 1 half becomes 16, 30 seconds. And we have our 3, 30 seconds. Now that we have our common denominators, we can simply find the sum. 12 plus 16 is 30, plus 3 is 33, so I have 2 plus 33, 30 seconds. And that equals 3 and 1, 30 second, and those are yards squared. Okay, we have a problem here from the practice set, and we have a problem very similar to that uh, in the next slide. Uh, in our uh, homework, I'm going to go through step by step the procedure here. We'll work through the whole problem, and I'll point out the similarities when we get to the slide with the homework. It's a multi-step problem. Fred cut a 9 and 3 fourths inch square of construction paper for an art project. So that's this, that's the thing down on the bottom here. Okay. Uh, then he cut a square from the edge of the big rectangle whose sides measured three and three and one fourth inches. So again, let's look at that picture below. The original rectangle was this, or square. So we have nine and three fourths by nine and three fourths. And then we're going to cut out a square, three and one fourth times three and one fourth. The first step is to find the area of the smallest square, because that's what we ask, they ask us to do in uh, 4a. So we'll take this, and we have 3 and 1 fourth times 3 and 1 fourth. We'll make our model. So I have 3 plus 1 fourth, 3 plus 1 fourth, partition. Multiply our partial products. Now we'll find the sum. So I have 9 plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 1 sixteenth. We'll add the, the fourths. We get 9 plus 6 fourths plus 1 sixteenth. And that becomes uh, uh, 6 fourths, becomes 1 and 2 fourths. So I have 10 plus 2 fourths plus 1 sixteenth. Find our common denominator. 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 10 plus 2 fourths becomes 8 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth. And we're going to just uh, get a little more room over here. Move things over a little. There we go. And that becomes 10 and 9 sixteenths. 
Okay, now we need to go to the second part of our task. Let me move back over here. What is the area of the remaining paper? Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to find the area of our original square and then subtract the value of our uh, the square that we cut out. And that is 10 and 9 sixteenths. So I'm going to make a note of that here. 10 and 9 sixteenths. Let's find the area of the original square. We have 9 and 3 fourths. 9 and 3 fourths. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 3 fourths is 27 fourths. And that's the same as 6 and 3 fourths. And 3 fourths times 9 is the same, so it's 6 and 3 fourths. 3 fourths times 3 fourths is 9 sixteenths. Let's find the sum. So I have 81 plus 6 and 3 fourths plus 6 and 3 fourths plus 9 sixteenths. Okay, let's uh, get the uh, whole numbers out of the way here. 6 plus 6 is 12. 81 plus 12 is 93. 93 plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 9 sixteenths. We'll find the sum of 3 fourths and 3 fourths. That's 6 fourths. And we know that 6 fourths is 1 and 2 fourths, so we now have 94 plus 2 fourths plus 9 sixteenths. As usual, converting fourths to sixteenths is easy. 2 fourths becomes 8 sixteenths plus 9 sixteenths. So we have 94 plus 17 sixteenths, and that becomes 95 and 1 16th. Now we need to find the difference. So again, back to our other uh, area here of the smaller uh, square that we had cut out. I'll simply subtract 9, 95 rather, add 1 16th, minus 10, and make a little more room here, and one, uh, 9 sixteenths. Okay, we haven't done this in a while. We're going to subtract the whole first here. So 95 minus 10 is 85. And we're going to decompose that to 85 and 1 sixteenth minus 9 sixteenths. So now we're going to switch the order. That equals 85 minus 9 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth. 85 minus 9 sixteenths is 84 and 7 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth. And now we get, make a little room over here, draw an arrow. I get 84 and 8 sixteenths equals 84 and one half. Okay, it, it's you know it's, it's, it looks like a really tough problem. It's not. Just take it part by part, um, and uh, work carefully. And we'll show you one more problem the from the homework set here, which is paralleling this. Again, what do we have here? We have uh, Shannon and Leslie want a carpet, a uh, sixteen and a half by sixteen and a half square foot room. They can't put carpet under an entertainment uh, center that juts out. See the diagram below. In square feet, what is the area of the space with no carpet? Well, that's right here. So we have what? Two and a half times two and a half. For part B, we need to figure out the area of the entire room and subtract the area of the entertainment center, which we found in A. So different numbers, same procedure. This one's an odd one. It says Kelly bought a tarp to cover an area under her tent. 
The tent is four feet wide and has an area of 31 square feet. The tarp she bought is five and one third by five and three fourths feet. Can the tarp cover the area under Kelly's tent? Draw a model to show your thinking. Well, the key thing here is to start with the tent, and we need to find out how long the tent is. We really don't need to find the area here. What we want to do is see if this tarp is long enough to fit under the length of this tent. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna, not going to tell you, but I'm going to draw a diagram. Here's the tent. We have 31 square feet. We know the width is 4. All right, well, so we need to determine our length here. You should be able to do that. We've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, what we have is the opposite of multiplication. I'll give you a hint there. And then we find the length and look to see if that tarp has a length that's long enough to fit underneath the entire length of that tent.